Today is Wednesday, August 3rd. Just got that easy day package in. Here we go, baby. What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm showing you guys the Easy 450 Utility Black. Now before I get into the video, I just wanna say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going when I see you guys liking my content. Also, let's know I'm in the right direction and showing you guys you wanna see. If you're new to the channel, I just wanna say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, there's a 4K video playing in the background of me, and you guys, when this video is coming ahead of time, you follow me on Instagram, at Davis. But let's get right into it, guys. So Yeezy Day was yesterday, and uh, these came pretty quickly. Um, I will say that I did actually have a bad Yeezy day. My shorty actually won this on her account. But um, anytime she wins, her shoes do come pretty quickly. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a screenshot right here of me winning or her winning. And I'm also show you guys uh, where these came from. I got these from PA and I am in uh, the tri-state area. So these came pretty quickly. So expect your pairs to be coming in the next few days here. But uh, in my experience though, on the app, I was just having so many errors and you know, my screen wasn't loading up. People were sending me test messages saying, hey, did you get exclusive access? I didn't get exclusive access until like two hours later on my phone. And then it was saying sold out. Uh, the turtle doves was saying I was in the queue and then it was telling me to switch my size, but then it was already sold out. So, I mean, I was just having a lot of bad luck yesterday. I was only able to get one shoe yesterday, which was a faded azure. So um, I'm gonna be showing you guys that when it finally does come in. Let me know how y'all easy day went, but mine was straight up a disaster. Basically, the front of the box here is size nine. Show you guys the front of the box. It says 450 up there. Okay, both sides are blank. The top of the box says 450. All right, retail on this was 200. Current resale is going for like 220, 230. Um, so you could probably get these around like, you know, a pretty decent price. So um, open up the top of the box here. And uh, when you open it up, all right, we get this shoe right here. On the paper, it says made in Germany right there. The brown sticker. Let's take out the other shoe right here. And here they are. Now, in my opinion, since I have three pair of these, um, they kind of look like the cinder, in my opinion. Uh, like this part of the shoe has that black material. But if you guys look, at the sole where you see like the flame shooting up from the bottom. It's like a dark, dark brown. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the other pair really quick here. If you guys look at these right here. They look just like the other ones that came out. If you guys look. But look at it from this angle. It actually does look black through the camera lens. But when I take my eyes off the camera lens and actually look at the shoe, you can tell that it's like a very, very dark brown. You may be able to tell from this angle here, but it is way better in person. You can really see. But um, I'm gonna show you guys the older model now how this one is like black. And then when I put the two in the frame, you can see the difference here and how the one to the left is more so in that brown family right there on this EVA phone that you guys see. So I just wanted to show you guys this angle so you guys can get a better idea of what the shoe color actually looks like. And also on the prime knitting here, you can tell the difference here in the prime knitting. Now, I'm not sure or can't remember if you know the prime knitting is actually like this because I have worn this shoe and put it through a lot. But uh, as you guys can see, the difference is right here. Okay, even in the shoelaces, these are actually black shoelaces. And these are more so like that brown right there. Okay, so I just want to show you guys that. And also another big difference on the back here, we get the dark brown on the utility black. And then on the dark slate, we get like that tannish color right there. Okay, pretty much all the differences on the shoe on the bottom, we pretty much get that same, you know, grayish looking sole but you know it is what it is i don't know if you get like a black okay and then we see the dark brown on the outside panels of the shoe come over to, coming towards the outside of the shoe right here we get that foam right there in the dark brown same thing on the inside right there that dark brown uva foam okay coming up towards the prime of the shoe right here we get this prime we get this knitting all the way around the shoe and it's kind of like a grayish color like a faded gray okay it's like a black it's like a ashy black you know what i mean so that's the coloring of the knitting that we get on this shoe show you guys the outside of that okay same thing on the inside all right now if you guys look at the laces on these as you guys see they're like a darkish brown and to the left of me i had the original ones that came out the dark slate and they're like an all black and you guys can really tell the difference in the laces right there 
Also on the lace holes, you can tell, you know what I mean, that it's a big difference between the knitting color and the laces color on these, okay? Um, other than that, I think it's one of the, you know, better shoes for working out in my opinion. But uh, if you guys look at towards the tongue here, at the top of the tongue, we get like that sock-like material on the tongue. Okay, and that's like in a gray color. All right, coming towards the back of the shoes here, as you guys can see, it's like a dark brown back there in knitting, okay? And if you guys look at the other one, it's more so like a tannish color. All right, coming towards the inside of the shoe here, the inside of the shoe, we get like a black sock lining and on the actual insole, take up the insole for you guys here. It's black and it says Yeezy on it with the three stripes on the right foot and on the left foot it says Yeezy with the globe on there because these are made from recycled material as you guys can see on the tags right there all right and they also put the sizing sticker on the actual insole before what they did was put it on the side so i'm gonna show you guys the old shoe right here and as you guys can see they put it on the side of the shoe right here instead of being on the actual insole but um under the insole it is still blue just like uh the dark slate is under the insole it is blue and like a silverish color with like you know the mixture of materials using from the cycle material but um other than that you know pretty much the same stuff now um i'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box right now Okay guys, so this is what they look like on feet. Pretty clean in my opinion. Now, I'm a true size nine, I normally get nine and a half in all my shoes, except for 450s and 350s. I believe you need to go a full size up on those, but um, you know, these are actually in a size nine. Now, Shorty did win these, and these are her shoes, but you know, it is my size, so I say, you know what, might as well just try it on and show you guys what you're getting, in fact, in store. But um, anyway, uh, as you guys can see here, I'm scrunching up my toes, and I have a lot of space to do that, and they feel comfortable at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys where my foot is in the toe box right here so wiggling around but if you guys cannot see big toe is right here and i have a lot of space up there right so i'm telling you guys right now that they feel comfortable on feet right but as you wear them for like 20 minutes 30 minutes hours on the day you're gonna start feeling this knitting material right in this area get really tight like right now i'm feeling it on my right foot start to get really tight like in this area all in this area right here okay and this is why you need to go up a full size now you may think like these do fit like looking at it you know what i mean and just feeling on it but once you start you know moving around your feet actually moving around like say if you want to work out them you will start to feel this knitting just keep on grabbing onto your shoe as if you know it was like a venom suit um i'm gonna show you guys the 9.5 right here and the first model that came out as you guys can see the differences this is more so like a black and this is more so like a really dark brown if you guys can really see it but anyway i'm gonna take this one off and put the 9.5 on here Okay, and this is why I feel like you need to go full size up because I got the size 9.5 and the size 9.5 feels a whole lot better than the size 9. But after I wore this for like an hour or two, I still feel that knitting here around my foot, just squeezing onto my foot, okay? And I did not like that feeling. And another thing was that, you know, once it, once you start putting it on so many times and the shoe is tight, this is what's going to happen to the back of your shoe. Because you're going to have to keep pulling it open and put your foot in and you do not want this to happen to your shoe. So that's another reason why you need to go full size up. Okay, so show you guys the back of these shoes. And as you guys can see, I didn't have any problem, you know what I mean, with opening these up as I was putting them on. And I have wore these a good amount of times, as you guys can see. So um, do go full size up when you guys get these, you know what I mean? You don't want to make the mistake of getting these too small or, you know, just a half a size up because you definitely will need a full size up on these. Maybe even a full size and a half up if you have a wider feet. But in my opinion, full size up should be fine. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys the white one now, which is actually a size 10. All right, which is right here. Put this one on for you guys. All right, so this is a size 10 and uh, the size 10 just feels really good on feet. Like I'm scrunching on my toes. I don't feel the tightness around this area as much as this one. So like when I'm scrunching it up, I still feel it in this area. But when I'm scrunching this one up, it's just a looser feel. It feels really nice on the size 10. So in my opinion, you have to go up a size 10. I mean, a size 10. You have to go up a full size on these in my opinion. So uh, side by side, I'll show you guys right here, side by side. And as you guys see, this one is, you can't really tell, but you know, it's not that much bigger but it is bigger if you look at it, but this is actually a size 10 and this one is actually a size nine. But um, you do need to go up a full size on these because just in this area, it's just gonna be really tight. And uh, as you guys can see in this one, like I still have, a, I have a good amount of space up there, but you know, that doesn't really matter with this shoe. You know what I'm saying? Cause 
you know these don't crease up or anything like that and you don't really feel it on your toes it's mainly on the outsides and on the insides of your feet where you're going to feel this pressure so right here and right here is where i'm really feeling that pressure and the prime knit just grabbing onto my foot on the size 10 i'm not really feeling that and uh that's why i believe you need to go up a full size on these but um i'm gonna show you guys what these like some different pants options right now okay guys i hope you guys like this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe Show your boy some love and stay tuned. Thank you. 